Kim Jong-un is the current supreme leader of North Korea, a position he has held since December 2011. He was born on January 8, 1984, in Pyongyang, the capital city of North Korea, to his father Kim Jong-il and his mother, Ko Yong-hui. Kim Jong-un is the third and youngest son of Kim Jong-il, who was the previous supreme leader of North Korea. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Early Life Kim Jong-un spent most of his early life in Pyongyang, where he attended an elite private school. As a child, he was described as quiet and introverted, and he had a close relationship with his mother, Ko Yong-hui. According to reports, Kim Jong-un was interested in basketball, and he reportedly watched NBA games on television. In 1996, Kim Jong-un was sent to Switzerland to attend a private school under a pseudonym. He spent several years in Switzerland, where he learned to speak German and reportedly became interested in skiing and snowboarding. During this time, Kim Jong-un was reportedly accompanied by a group of bodyguards, who were tasked with ensuring his safety. Family Kim Jong-un's family has played a significant role in North Korean politics. His father, Kim Jong-il, was the previous supreme leader of North Korea, and his grandfather, Kim Il-sung, was the founder of the country. Kim Jong-un's mother, Ko Yong-hui, was a dancer who reportedly caught the eye of Kim Jong-il when she was performing at a concert. She later became one of Kim Jong-il's mistresses, and she bore him several children, including Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un is married to Ri Sol-ju, who was reportedly a singer in a North Korean band, before she married Kim Jong-un. The couple has several children, although their exact number and ages are not publicly known. Political Career Kim Jong-un's political career began in 2009, when he was named to a series of high-level positions in the North Korean government. He was appointed to the National Defense Commission, which is the country's highest military body, and he was also made a member of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, which is the country's ruling political party. In 2011, Kim Jong-il died, and Kim Jong-un was named as his successor. He was officially declared as the Supreme Leader of North Korea in December 2011, and he assumed the title of First Secretary of the Workers' Party of Korea, Chairman of the Central Military Commission, and Chairman of the National Defense Commission. Since taking power, Kim Jong-un has pursued a policy of Baimjin, which focuses on developing North Korea's nuclear weapons program, while also improving the country's economy. He has overseen several missile tests, and nuclear tests, which have led to increased tensions between North Korea, and the international community. Kim Jong-un has also taken steps to consolidate his power within North Korea. He has executed several high-ranking officials, including his uncle, Jang Songtik, who was considered to be one of the most powerful men in North Korea. Kim Jong-un has also cracked down on dissent within the country, and human rights organizations have accused his government of widespread human rights abuses. Conclusion Kim Jong-un is one of the world's most reclusive leaders, and very little is known about his personal life or his true intentions. However, his actions as the supreme leader of North Korea have had a significant impact on the country and the world. His pursuit of nuclear weapons has led to increased tensions between North Korea and the international community, and his crackdown on dissent within the country has drawn criticism from human rights organizations. Despite this, Kim Jong-un remains a powerful figure in North Korean politics.